Hello there, Roblox players. All right, so here is a mod for Chroma RGB for Roblox. So Roblox events can trigger Chroma RGB events. So the way that's set up is here I'm in Roblox Studio. I have a GUI set up where there's text buttons here. And by clicking the text button, it does a print message. And then I have a Roblox Chroma RGB mod app that monitors the log file for these messages, and then that triggers the different Chrome effects. So here we go, here's 15 sample effects. And the way this is set up is if we look over here, so if I open up Explorer, in the starter GUI, I've created a Chroma GUI and added a frame to that. There we go. And within the frame and these text buttons have a child local script. And in this local script, I've added a left click and a right click event and connected that so that it uses a print statement and it uses a Chroma RGB colon prefix. And that's detected over in the mod application that monitors the logs for, for these strings. And that application invokes the Chrome effects. So if we look at that application, this is a C Sharp WPF application. And within the animations folder, here's all the Chrome effects that it plays. It's got an application and a main window. And within the main window, yeah, let's look at the XAML. Okay, so this is pretty basic. It's just a window with a title and it has a, a label here. But in the code behind, here we go. So it handles initializing Chroma. And if everything's loaded properly, it will launch a worker thread. And that worker thread will monitor the local app data Roblox logs for changes. And if it detects a, a change in the file, it looks for the token. And then based on whatever string is passed, it pops over here into process effect. And here we go. So whatever print statements you hook up, you can customize and then go right into the Chrome SDK using the C-sharp API to control what's happening. And a sample one of those looks like this. So. You can use the Chroma Animation API and load the different animations and access the API. And I'll link to that in the description. All right, and there you go. So we have the Roblox game. It's using print statements to write to the log. And then this listener app detects those strings to control the Chroma API. And that's where you would customize the print statements, the animations, and hotkeys and and whatever you might want to do okay and with that that's a little overview of chroma rgb and roblox thanks for watching